All right, so Boris, give us your take on this. The dollar up 3% this month alone as we approach the election. Is that a sign of investor sentiment uh, that former President Trump is more likely to win the election? I think it definitely is a bet on that in that direction. If you look at the latest uh, polling data and betting data, it certainly seems to be trending that way. But I think, you know, as always with Trump, there's a massive dichotomy between what he says and what he does. And the bet on the fact that, you know, we're going to have massive tariffs and they'll be truly inflationary, I think is very problematic. Um, some of the more respected macro analysts that I follow have made an interesting suggestion. Basically, that the whole play on tariffs is really a play on making Chinese do much more domestic investment, just like we did with the Japanese mm -hmm. and the Germans here in the 1990s. That means Chinese manufacturing moving on short here, which actually should be very, very positive uh, for U.S. capital investment uh, and U.S. economy. It may not have nearly as much of an impact on the dollar as people think it will be. So it sounds like you're saying if former President Trump were to win, the dollar rally actually might fade after the election victory if some of those policies don't take effect. Well, you know, it's interesting. If you look at the history of Trump administration in, in the uh, uh, in the first administration, the first two years, the dollar fell tremendously, like 10 and half percent, actually 11 percent. It was a really, really big decline mm -hmm. because ultimately the thing about Donald Trump is he likes low interest rates and he does like a fiscal expansionary policy. So all of those things, I think, are actually uh, relatively negative to the dollar. Generally, when you look at the dollar movements, it's much more dictated by monetary policy than by fiscal policy. Now, what's interesting about the Trump administration, I think, is that he's going to get a chance to, re -nom to, to nominate a new Fed chair. And clearly, Trump likes somebody in that seat who is going to be much more open to his position. Okay. So I think um, you may see an administration here that's going to be much, much more engaged in monetary policy than some of the past administrations we've seen. So, Boris, I wanted some news with you. Uh, this morning, Goldman Sachs out with some research saying that the euro could fall as much as 10 percent if former President Donald Trump was reelected and actually put some of those tariffs in place. I want to ask you just about the impact of possible tariffs, not only on the dollar, but also on global currencies like the euro, uh, like Chinese currency, uh, you know, the yen. What's the potential impact here? Again, it all depends on uh, exactly what happens, whether the tariffs are a bluff to sort of change trade policy or whether it's actually going to happen and we have something, you know, sort of a, uh, a modern smooth uh, tolly type of a situation. Mm -hmm. I don't think this, the latter is, is really going to be in play. It's really much more a negotiating tactic on, uh, on Trump's uh, point. But Europe has so many problems of its own. Again, the problem with Europe is just uh, stagnant growth, although what you're seeing here is Europe moving much more towards center-right politicians, which are much more market-oriented, like in Italy. Um, with Maloney in, 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 in Netherlands. And if you see that movement towards more center-right positions, okay. then you're going to see probably Europe improve. But for now, Europe just seems to be a basket case. And yes, Euro is very weak as a result of it. So, Boris, we got to go, but very quickly, is there any dollar impact if uh, Vice President Harris is elected? Does it, does it have an impact either upside or downside in your mind? I think it has pretty serious downside impact. It's, it's, I think investors in general are going to be very cautious about uh, President Harris' presidency. I know that they think it's going to be a continuation of Biden, or at least they're claiming it's going to be a continuation of Biden, but everybody is, I think, much more on their pins okay. and needles as to exactly what the policies will be. And they could be very inflationary, and that definitely could be very damaging to the dollar.